Okay, so we're doing uh, a little bit more on the GDL 39 uh, with the ADSB. This is the Android from the previous video, the tablet. And what I've done is I have it hooked up to a big uh, Samsung here. And uh, you can see the weather off to the side, off to the coast. We're showing basically from, uh, well, where are we? We've moved. That's weather up north. Scroll it in. That's us in the middle of the blinking little thingy there. Let me see if I can get this. We're showing a large portion of California. I touched it again. Get that to go away. So our location is right here. This is where we are. You can see we're picking up the weather off the coast north of us. Um, this would be like Santa Rosa area out up in here. And I'm going to try to zoom this thing in. I can. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm operating it, I'm operating the screen from this tablet here and displaying it on here. We do this uh, when we have a presentation so people can see what's going on. Basically what we have here is we have, right here we have an aircraft is 36,400 feet above us. Uh, we have another one down here JB, I don't know if you can see that. JBL, this is Jet Blue Flight right here. I don't think it's going to give us too much on that. Here's another flight. And what they're doing is uh, this up here tells me we're picking up ADSB output coming out of the aircraft. We're also picking up the weather. Oops, I'm sorry, we can't scroll on that screen. We've got to scroll on this screen here. Move it over here. And it should fill back in. We're at the corner of it. There we go. That's our weather. You'd use this when you're in flight uh, for avoiding weather and stuff. I'm going to pause it just a second. Okay, I moved it back. I moved it back around a little closer now. Um, here's that. There's a flight here. There's a JetBlue 416 here. We have the Placerville Airport here. Auburn is here where we're doing this from. And this is the uh, the King's Fire that's burning over by Pollock Pines. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select from the menu to display the TFRs. And get the light bright, so we're going to click TFRs, turn those on, get that out, get rid of it. And now you see here in the middle, there's a temporary flight restriction, and we have one here over Beale Air Force Base that's there all the time. Now this one here. If we were flying along, we want information about what's going on in that location. You come to your tablet. I have to do it on this one because that's not a test screen. And I'm going to touch it. And back to here. Over on the side, I'm going to push the button TFR on the other panel. And it's going to bring it up. There it is. Now to get the details of it, we're going to hit this button on the other screen. And there it is. California airspace, Pollock Pines, California temporary flight restrictions within an area defined as five nautical mile radius, on and on and on. Gives the idea of the, of the flight restriction. Uh, there's the time from and to, information about it. And it'll also give you a number for Oakland Flight Center. Uh, there's, or, there's a phone number to call for more information about the King Fire. To close it, we're gonna hit the done button over here and it's out of there. Uh, the other one is Beal. And if I hit the TFR on Beal on my other screen, it's got the ID, it's got the altitude minimum 4100 to 18,000. Various things here. We're going to go down there. Get rid of that. We're going to come back down to our menu. No hit the wrong button. We're going to undo the TFRs and we're back. Uh, uh, the interesting thing we're looking at here is just like on the other video I shot, uh, this is actually the plume of the smoke. I'm going to zoom out on the tablet that you don't see me doing that on the right. And it's in motion. The fire is actually down in this area here, but this is radar, visible radar that we're picking up here. So what you're seeing is the the smoke, the density of the smoke is causing that image to appear on the uh, 
on the screen. And here we got another flight here. VRD, that's the identifier for some air, airline. VRD, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, they're 36,400 feet in a climb. That is the trend line, that's a two minute trend. This aircraft will be at that point in two minutes. So it's a little way of uh, seeing what's going on. Here's another one, United Airlines right here. 24-3, it's in a climb, climbing out. The JetBlue flight is over here. He's in a climb. Uh, if we go to another menu here, let me pause this for a second, I'm going to go to another menu. Okay, now I've taken it and put it to the traffic mode. It's another page on it. We're still in the same application, but this is another mode. And as you can see, we got the United Airlines flight here, the JetBlue and whatever that is. If we tap this, of course, we, right now there's no selection. If we tap this on the other unit, You see where it popped up there. Now that's JetBlue 416 ADSB. They're flying on a heading of 62 degrees at 495 knots, flight level 256. They're climbing at 832 feet per minute. So we can then go to another target. We'll go to United Airlines, which is this guy right here, UAL 1282, which is mimicked up here, UAL 1282. 40 degrees is their heading magnetic, 496 knots, flight level 27, 8. They are climbing at 1,280 feet a minute still. So that's another uh, feature on this uh, app. And then we can also split the screen. If I hit this button here, come on, there we go. Now we have a split screen. And you have our traffic here where we're watching these flights here. And I can still come back and hit any of these ID, any of these aircraft here, which of course I have to do from the tablet, right there. And now on the split screen, we've got them here, and we've got the information here. We can make that go away by oops, not that button. I keep wanting to push the wrong screen. Hit this here, and there it goes away. And there we are, back to our screen. So that's a, a, this is the second uh, video just to inform you about some of the, uh, some of the things that the GDL39 does with the Pilot Garmin uh, application. Uh, this does not have the 3D in it. I'm using the GDL39. The GDL39 um, 3D has got an AHARS unit built into it, so it'll give you what looks to be a uh, flight director. So you have your attitude information also. So. That's about it for this session, unless I can think of something that I didn't put in there. Um, we'll cut it off right here, and I might add some more to this. Uh, there is another little thing I want to show you on this one here. Uh, besides watching uh, traffic and weather and assorted other things on there. Oh, by the way, when, when you see this antenna symbol here, uh, this is a ground station that's also rebroadcasting data. Right now, we're not getting any data from the ground. We are, however, showing that we're picking it up from aircraft. So these aircraft here are re-radiating data that we're picking up. So if there's another aircraft that's over here that we're not really in contact with, with our GDL-39, this aircraft is picking up various aircraft around it and is rebroadcasting it, and we're picking it up on our antenna. Um, I'll show you that here in a minute too. But what I want to show you that's interesting is if I go in here and I click the menu thing again and I come over here to overlays I go map charts and I want, I want, over, I want I'm sorry I want overlays still route TFRs, I've got capacities come on, you gotta have little fingers to do this Okay, I'm going to come where it says fuel prices. Right now we're showing what I'm sorry. Right now we're showing weather. We're going to show fuel prices here. So when I hit that, there we go. Make that go away, and that is the price of the aviation fuel at the various airports. So Sac International, six dollars and thirty-nine cents. We got five twenty-five over here. Five sixty-nine. Five sixty-nine. Over in Reno, it's seven dollars and three cents a gallon. 
Um, this has got to be Carson City 539. So it's, it's a way of uh, checking out gas prices around different places too. And if you notice this guy here, United Airlines, they're right over. This is the Squaw Valley VOR. He's not using VOR to navigate, but traditionally that's the route that they use and they've just maintained it. So even though they're not tuned to the VOR, well they could be. They're probably not though. But they're using GPS navigation. Um, that's where you're going to see them flying to. Uh, let's see, we're going to show you the part that's transmitting this and giving us all the information here in a second. I might have to turn a light back on to do that. Okay, this device here, I had to turn the lights off because I was getting uh, glare and stuff on the computer screens. This is the GDL39 itself right here. It's a real simple unit. Right now I have it hooked up to a battery pack, which is optional. Uh, the way it comes is with the uh, 39 and a uh, cigarette lighter adapter cord. Uh, this one here I have attached to the battery pack and I'm just keeping the battery charged through this connector here. But it uh, goes up on the glare shield that you're playing. The blue light shows repaired. And uh, that's, that's the brains behind all of this.